about a 20 minute film of the highlights. We did all these trips in three weeks, one a week for three weeks, and uh, just trying to show you what it's like to have a travel trailer and what you can do with it with a small car, Toyota. So here we go. Uh, and we will just take things off of this. I love that beginning. <laughs> Yeah, it's just little portions of that, and uh, again, this is an experiment. Yeah, you can bypass it, like it, love it, hate it, whatever. Here it comes. Seventeen Toyota Highlander. We're gonna have to have a bumper uh, put in. Tow bar, twelve hundred bucks plus the uh, the power brake pads. Now we have decided. And we're, we're just right now, we're doing this live. We're, my wife's in there doing the paperwork. To so go with a Jayco 175RD. A Palmetto, a Palmino. One, two. A Palmino, that one right there, a blue one. I'll just go over here and try to keep this short so I can splice these. The real light. 18 foot, 3,200 pounds. 3,200 pounds, and it's pretty nice. You can see there, there. Here's the thing. Now, I don't like this one. The bathroom better. It has a nice little sink and shower. But if you look here, the dining room is four inches away from the bedroom. I don't like that. That's the Palmino. That's pretty cool. I like it. I do. But the one that we're getting is right here, this exact one. This is, this is the Jayco 175 RD, which means a rear dining room. And the way I like this, this is only 1250 bucks. $12,950. People like this, as you walk in, and here's the bed. And this has a nice curtain, that's why I like it. So the curtain separates the living room. But look at this. There's your kitchen. But there's your dining room way down there. So you're getting all this space down here completely away from the bedroom. RD Jayco. And it has been purchased. There she blows, folks. This is already Hi. All, all, all seasons RV. I highly recommend them. Everybody has to hit like, share. Don't send any nasty comments, but this is it. 17 foot. I liked it for this. Instead of that, that's a little bit nicer, but <laughs> you only have you only have four inches between the bed and the kitchen. I don't like that. There's our tow vehicle. Like 2017 Highlander. And of course, there's our old one. The 2002 Highlander. We're at the service, just had the bumper, tow hitch installed, and the trailer brakes. So now we're going down to pick up the trailer, hook it up, and do a first tow from sea level, from sea level to 3,200 feet up the winding road. So it's $983 and blah, blah, blah cents. 2017 Highlander, all-wheel drive, V6, 10,000 miles on it, and R174, excuse me, 175 RD, meaning rear dining room, Jayco travel trailer. It's worth it. There we go, folks. The saga has finally come to an end. There she is. The saga's just begun. The saga's begun on that, but getting it up here is just the beginning. I guess I'm a mummy. Death is just the beginning. Well, it's just the beginning. All right, folks, that's it. Have a wonderful day, and you too can become a small car SUV travel trailer pulling monster. We'll see you on the road. Bye. That's night.
We're going down at eight percent, three mile grade, straight down, straight down. I got a new camera loading, so I don't feel myself coming down. But first time testing out the brakes. First time testing out this road. Look at this road. Look at this road. If uh, you too can be a weekend warrior, you know, Jacob 175 on the meet, Toyota 2017 SUV crossover. Okay, folks. Get a few more pictures of that river down here. Look at that. Now, we could pull over right now if we wanted to, go to the bathroom, make a pot of coffee, <laughs> and go jump in the river. Second gear, I'm doing 25. I can go faster than a lot, but we are. I mean, this is the first tow for me, except for taking it back up to our house. We are just laboring along. I mean, we are climbing. We, we're climbing as high as we just went down. And, and I have plenty of power, I'm telling you folks, this little Highlander's doing great. And yeah, just kind of stay there. I don't think you could ask any more of any vehicle, truthfully. You have a big old motor. Okay, here we come up. Now we're going to top. I'm up to 3,000 RPMs in the third. And as soon as I hit up here, I'll hit up in the third. And I should nicely dive back down, give it a little gas. So it's, it's running fine. I'm actually impressed by it. Hit it. First pull. So this is a uh, gold mining, I brought a sluice box, and we're on a river, so I brought a fishing pole, got my fishing license. Now we're just waiting to register, I guess, and then we will, uh, it will be our first time setting this place up. We'll get it plugged. So, look at this. Now, we've been living in these foothills for a long, long time. Don't really go to the river except for certain areas because it's just so not so much access. Look at this. This is the river, and you can't ride over there if you can find a spot. Now we may have to go up and around, but you can't really go wrong. It's time to fish, and that's my next chore. I'll be back. I'm trying one last time. This is a four pound test of trout bait. I'm not going to catch anything, but you got to try. Fish it off the bank. And that's day one. Let's just show you this place. All river in front. Look at that guy. We're right next to him in the little tiny trailer. <laughs> oh yeah, we fit in. Been overnight or to the Delta, which is about. It'll be about a a two-hour run on on freeway, on freeway speeds, uh, until we get there. So that's what we're doing now. Miles an hour, but wanted to really good. This car, plenty of power. Uh, so far, no problems. We got another, I don't know, hour. And uh, we're running low on gas. We still have to get food. And we're going to a place called Duck Island in the Bethel Island group out there. We may have to take a ferry. I don't know. Uh, you sound real gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what the hell we're doing, folks. We're here. Show them, Show them all the beauty. This is the uh, California levee holding back the Delta. All these houses over here show them over here. It's all underwater if these things break, which happened a couple times. Uh, went out to a place. All I know about it is it has a uh, bar, fishing, restaurant, restaurant, grocery, groceries, and uh, get me off this road. Uh, bass, and yeah, she thinks there's probably catfish down there because it is a slough and not the main river. The main river, you'll see that 
See that levy? Oh, there's a name right over Wait, there.
must be a couple of few hundred years old. These spots, we only can stay one night, these are reserved already. Uh, you have to go online. I don't know how it works. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but... What, what, what spot is this? 234? 234, 233, 232, uh, 235, and all those down there. So you go 235 down is probably 2, 230, and you'll be with it. Oh, no. Close to 3. We're going to make our way down to that little cove right down there. And uh, we'll fish. Straight out. About the time you showed up. Just gonna use worms. There are people down here having campfires at night. Very cool. This is uh, boondocking it. Air tracks. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah. smell these worms. Oh, look at these tracks. Oh my gosh. You really want to come down here? Oh, look at these. Oh, look at the size of these things. There's a peak track here. Oh, look at this mountain line. Oh, let's all go. Let's go. The dangerous of the, all of the traps of all of these predators is the mighty human lions. These are mountain lions. Wow. Now look at this. must be a little raccoons. Wow. Hey, we have a whole menagerie of, of prints going through here. Here, three toed something. Looks like human, but I only see three toes, and it's kind of. Look at these, two different kinds. You got a paw here, got marks here. Wow. Oh, look at this big old track. What's that, huh? What's that big mountain lion or something here? These look like deer track, maybe. Wow. Look at this. If I was a, if I was a professor, I'd look at them all. You got all these different paws. You got that one and that one. This looks like a little kid with a human track. Are they tracking him? Or is he tracking them? Look at them all. This is incredible. Look at them. Look at this, folks. I've come to a, I've come to a, I've come to a fork in the road. Oh my God. That's a chair, right? see anything like this again. So we're going to walk down here. Look at these. I can follow this big old cat. Look at that. Look at this cat. Look at that. Look at these. Look at that. Some of these are people. Some of these are people. 
people are doing the same thing I've been, huh? I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to find some bear tracks over there. Look how deep that is. That is one heavy out. I'm not sure what are bear tracks. What are Look at the size of those claws. Look at that. People go messing with these mountains all the time. Shit, look at that size of that sucker. Look at that. You can't make this stuff up. That's not the same guy. That's, that's different than that. But who's trapped who? Look at that. Just, just So the fools like me walk around looking at these predator paw prints, and they're looking at you, looking at the paw prints, and they're saying, huh, well, it's just a little darker, because right up there, that's all deep wood. This guy right here, like the side of that. So, there we go. Scott's Flat Lake is raining. It's supposed to be a big storm tonight. Look at the skies. And that hurricane hitting, I guess it's blowing through Arizona and flipped. But we're getting the back end of it. It's kind of swirling around, hitting Northern California a little bit. You know, you're a romantic couple, you're sitting down here, walking the, the lake, maybe the moon is over it. Here, what a wonderful place. And then, whack! Mountain lion takes your girlfriend or your boyfriend away, and drags them off. Eat some. I used third. Got a third water left. Uh, one tank is half. The other tank's a third. Gray water, I think it is. And we're doing okay. We got heat. We got heat right down there. Lots, lots of heat. Have a hard time charging my battery, so this is it. So we have a little living room, table, and a bottom room. We just, we've got a full TV there. We have to set that up so we don't have 120 or 110 flowers. We aren't using the batteries for our lighting. We have that. We have a little DVD player. And everything's okay. First night boondocking, and we're just missing, uh, we're not missing anything. Maybe a TV, but we got the DVD, so hey. All is good. It's worms. So we're pulling out in about, about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. An overnighter. This is where we came to. Show. They all went down here and got naked and jumped in the jumped in the lake. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, the Europeans, you know. Yeah. But there we are. There we be. Alright, just a quick little shit. It was pretty cheesy, but you know what? When you're bored and you're in the mountains, that's what you do. We all like watching other people's lives, and that's what that's what this is all about. Uh, plus, I am I am testing out a Toyota Highlander 2017 V6 with a CVT transmission, pulling a 2,900 pound travel trailer, and I think it's worth it. People have to look at this. This trailer is boss. It's small. It's cheap. It's built like a rock. It doesn't have a lot of stuff in it, but you know what? It has a ton of room, more so than the Winnebago, more so than the Forester, more so than the Lance. Just the way it's designed, you get a lot and a lot of room. So anyway, have fun with it. 
And uh, <laughs> I'll try to learn how to edit this stuff one of these days. Have a good day. And uh, remember, see you on the road.